Hello guys. Today I want to talk about how to reduce high blood pressure naturally. How to prevent high blood pressure naturally? The blood pressure is the force at which heart pumps the blood into the arteries. The blood pressure is measured in two figures or numbers. The first number is called systolic blood pressure, which is the pressure of blood against the artery walls when the heart squeezes to pump the blood. The systolic pressure is most important. It is a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease. The second number is called diastolic blood pressure. This indicates the blood pressure in arteries when the heart is resting between beats. For a normal person, blood pressure is 120 over 80. High blood pressure can damage the arteries and tissues. It is known as the silent killer. It shows no symptoms until there is a significant damage. So what causes high blood pressure? The purpose of blood pressure is to supply nutrients and oxygen to the body. It depends upon how much volume of blood is needed to be pumped to fulfill the body needs. As we age, The peripheral resistance increases, arteries harden, and it causes high blood pressure or hypertension. Metabolic syndrome like insulin resistance also increases the resistance. Around 82% of type 2 diabetics also have high blood pressure. Or if you have clogged arteries and obesity, the heart will need to pump blood with more force. If you are stressed out, your body needs more blood to counter the perceived danger. Stress keeps the sympathetic nervous system overactivated and keeps you in fight or flight mode. Similarly, when you have anemia, your heart needs to pump more blood to meet the oxygen needs. Other factors include potassium and vitamin D deficiency and increased sensitivity to sodium. The good news is that you can reduce the high blood pressure without medication by just making lifestyle changes and reduce the risk of heart disease. Lifestyle plays an important role in treating your high blood pressure. Here are 10 lifestyle changes you can make to lower your high blood pressure and keep it down. Number 1, lose weight. More than 80% of cases occur in those with a body mass index greater than 25. By losing weight, you are reducing the need to pump extra blood to the pounds of weight you have gained. Additionally, it would reduce peripheral resistance caused by the fat and plaque deposited in the arteries. Being overweight can also cause disrupted breathing or sleep apnea while you sleep. which further raises your blood pressure obesity is also an indication of insulin resistance weight loss is one of the most effective lifestyle changes for controlling high blood pressure even losing a small amount of weight can help reduce your blood pressure in general you can reduce your blood pressure by about 1 mm of mercury with each kilogram of weight you lose just keep an eye on your waist line if you are a man with a waist measurement greater than 40 inches you are at risk if you are a woman with a waist measurement greater than 35 inches you are at risk number 2 exercise regularly exercise daily for at least 30 minutes to 1 hour This can lower your blood pressure by about 5 to 8 mmHg. It is important to be consistent. Because if you stop exercising, your blood pressure can rise again. Start with light exercises like walking, jogging, cycling, swimming or yoga. And then you can increase it gradually. You can also try high intensity interval training. which involves alternating short bursts of intense activity with subsequent recovery periods of lighter activity 
Strength training can also help reduce blood pressure. Aim to include strength training exercises at least two days a week. Number three, eat a healthy diet. Just start eating a healthy diet. Stay away from processed carbohydrates, processed meats, added sugars, preservatives, saturated fats, and anything that does not look natural. These foods create inflammation and resistance in the body. Start eating whole grains, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and low-fat dairy products. Eat lean meats and fish. This would reduce your cholesterol levels and can lower your blood pressure by up to 11 mm. Just start documenting what you eat in a food diary and monitor what you eat, how much, when and why. Berries, especially blueberries, are rich in flavonoids which lower the high blood pressure. Researchers conclude that red beets reduce the high blood pressure within 24 hours due to its nitric oxide content. It dilates the arteries. Eating yogurt reduces the risk of developing high blood pressure by 20%. Omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin D in fish are known to lower high blood pressure by reducing inflammation and lowering triglycerides. Eating one or two cloves of crushed raw garlic is known to lower cholesterol levels and high blood pressure. Number four, increase potassium intake. Consider boosting potassium. Potassium can lessen the effects of sodium on blood pressure. Potassium helps the kidneys to get rid of sodium through urine. Leafy green vegetables such as lettuce, arugula, kale, turnip green, collard greens and spinach are high in potassium. Bananas are also rich in potassium. Seeds like sunflower, pumpkin and squash seeds are also high in potassium. Avoid canned vegetables, they are high in sodium. Be a smart shopper. Read food labels when you shop and stick to your healthy eating plan. Number 5. Reduce sodium intake. The people with high blood pressure are known to have high sodium in their bodies which causes more volume of blood to be pumped in the body. Even a small reduction of the sodium in your diet can improve your heart health and reduce blood pressure by about 5 to 6 mm. The effect of sodium intake on blood pressure varies among groups of people. In general, limit sodium intake to 2300 mg a day or less. However, 1500 mg a day or less is ideal for most adults. Most often, processed or packaged foods contain high amounts of sodium. Beware of that and read labels when you buy these items. Number 6. Limit alcohol intake. Excessive alcohol intake causes toxicity and inflammation in the body and increases the peripheral resistance. Excessive alcohol can also reduce the effectiveness of blood pressure medications. By limiting your alcohol intake, you can reduce the high blood pressure by about 4 mm. Women should take only one drink and men should take only two drinks a day. One drink equals 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine or 1.5 ounces of 80 proof liquor. Number 7. Quit Smoking Each cigarette you smoke increases your blood pressure for many minutes after you finish. Stopping smoking helps your blood pressure return to normal. Quitting smoking can reduce the risk of heart disease and improve your overall health. People who quit smoking may live longer than people who never quit smoking. Number 8. Cut back on caffeine. The role caffeine plays in blood pressure is still debated. Caffeine can raise blood pressure up to 10 mm 
in people who rarely consume it. But people who drink coffee regularly may experience little or no effect on their blood pressure. Although the long-term effects of caffeine on blood pressure are not clear, it is possible blood pressure may slightly increase. To see if caffeine raises your blood pressure, check your pressure within 30 minutes of drinking a caffeinated beverage. If your blood pressure increases by 5 to 10 mm, you may be sensitive to the blood pressure raising effects of caffeine. Number 9. Reduce Stress Chronic stress may contribute to high blood pressure. More research is needed to determine the effects of chronic stress on blood pressure. Occasional stress also can contribute to high blood pressure. If you react to stress by eating unhealthy food, drinking alcohol or smoking, take some time to think about what causes you to feel stressed such as work, family, finances, or illness. Once you know what's causing your stress, consider how you can eliminate or reduce stress. If you cannot eliminate all of your stressors, you can at least cope with them in a healthier way. Try to change your expectations. For example, plan your day and focus on your priorities. Avoid trying to do too much and learn to say no. Understand there are some things you cannot change or control, but you can focus on how you react to them. Focus on issues you can control and make plans to solve them. If you are having an issue at work, try talking to your manager. If you are having a conflict with your kids or spouse, Take steps to resolve it. Try to avoid stress triggers when you can. For example, if rush hour traffic on the way to work causes stress, try leaving earlier in the morning or take public transport. Avoid people who cause you stress if possible. Make time to relax and do activities you enjoy. Take time each day to sit quietly and breathe deeply. Make time for enjoyable activities or hobbies in your schedule, such as taking a walk, cooking, or volunteering. Practice gratitude. Expressing gratitude to others can help reduce your stress. Number 10. Deep breathing. Slow deep breathing activates the parasympathetic nervous system which decreases the heart rate and dilates blood vessels, reducing your overall blood pressure. As your breathing becomes slower, your brain associates it with a state of relaxation, which causes your body to slow down other functions like digestion. In many people, it reduces the blood pressure immediately within 5 minutes. This is it guys for today's video. Please give it thumbs up and share the video with others. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you in advance.